Bought them, we are. Um, starting live. We might be on. I think we're on. I think we're on. Hello, guys. If we are on, will you please tell us? I think we are, yeah. We've tried it on the laptop now rather than on the phone because we can see the chat better and I can moderate it myself if there's no moderators who are there to moderate it. We'll see. Right, we have to sit in the picture, darling. Yeah. Just bear with us whilst the... a huge uh, delay. Just bear with us while the picture... Bear with us while we get the angle right. It's about a 12 second delay from the picture we can see to... Fur face moderator, you see. That's Robert Holt. Oh. That's our friend Robert. Why is... Why aren't you in the picture very much? I don't know. You should be now. You should be now. Because your beer's in the way. <laughs> Let it just turn. That's it. Okay, we're back on. Um, we're live. Let's just hope it goes a little bit better this time. Just don't do. I just don't like live. You can't. You've got no control over it. You've got no control over what people are going to comment. You, you're not going to have any control over how it's going. It's it's just so hard. This is uh, this is why I'm, I'm I'm quite good at editing. I like editing because you can take out all the bad bits what you've filmed, and you can't do anything this way. It's just stuck in there. The only thing you can do is delete the video afterwards if you're not happy with it, which I probably will be doing with the last one. Anyway, um, how many people are on here? Does it? Oh, thirteen. There it says up there who's watching. I wonder if they're in the last live stream waiting for that yeah, to restart. Probably. They yeah. probably are. Anyway, we're not. We're here. <laughs> California camping. That's who I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Just Hi. a very quick hello from us, but I'm at work, so I can't stay for very long. We enjoyed your innings. Thank you very much, California Thank camping. You. Uh, you. You must have missed the last live feed, but I actually mentioned you. We were talking about having stickers and uh, having logos on the side of your van and things and I said one good idea is what I know California Camping does is mm -hmm. they have some stickers and they were giving them out at the NEC but we missed you there um, so yeah if there's anyone out there who is interested in camping videos because most of the people watching this are from my other channel um, please you know if you're interested in people traveling subscribe to them because they're very very good california camping it's a couple who live i think it's in a volkswagen v4 or something oh it's, it's a california camper i haven't watched you guys but i'll, I'll be sure to they're check good. you out they're good they're good they're good oh metal detecting facts oh bless you oh thank bless you. thank you what's he say a large cake for Mags and half. Oh, bless ya. <laughs> Surely it depends who goes to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you all these do donations will not be going on beer. These no. will be uh, probably petrol. <laughs> petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Petrol's the big issue. Yes. Uh, petrol or diesel and miles mm. per gallon. Good question. I think we decided straight away it was going to be diesel. Diesel, yeah. I think from what everybody says, the take up, they're, they're far cheaper to run. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if they're more reliable. I don't know. Miles per gallon, the vans we were looking at, the first van was 31 to 34 miles per gallon. That means nothing to me. I was shocked when you come out with that. I thought, gosh, you yeah, know yeah. stuff. It means nothing <laughs> to me. I... I believe my Clio C3 is something like 43 miles per gallon. It's really good, but it's not a camper van. So, anyway. Are you managing better with this? 
yeah. Because we were on the phone and we couldn't read them yeah. on this. We've just been told how to slow the street. Um, I've not slowed it down, it's just there's less people watching. Oh, is that why? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> there's 59 of them on there at the moment. Uh, hello, Kian. Thanks for watching. Do electric caravans exist? Don't know. Don't know. Electric camper vans? I doubt it. Too much travel. <laughs> I doubt it. Good idea, though. Uh, <laughs> Does Maddy drive? I do green, yeah. Green, silver, I do drive. But not really since Dan's been here, because mm. he's better at it than me. <laughs> yeah, we, we got rid of... Well, sorry, we... You got rid of your car, didn't yeah. you? And I do the driving now. It kept overheating. <laughs> it was more trouble than what it was worth. <sighs> and I, I'm happy to drive. doesn't bother me. Mm. But uh, we haven't put you on the insurance for my car. I just don't see the point. We'll just do that when we get yeah. the, the van. What will you do for internet in the camper now? This is a massive this problem. A, yeah. We don't know. We, we don't know. We've been asking everybody as well, haven't we? We were asking people at the show, you know, stands who do like satellite and Mi Fi and internet and Wi Fi. Oh, like Will Smith's offering to No moderate. one seemed to know. None of them seemed to uh, know the answer. They just confused us even more. Uh, add moderator, there you go. Will Smith, thank, thank you. Thank you, Will. I did look very smart at the show. I was just going to say, I've still got the same clothes on. I've got the same jumper on as I had on in the last day. Um, but I had my favourite shirt on. Now, my mum bought me that shirt. There's a story behind that shirt. My mum bought me that shirt for my birthday or something, and I loved it. And I went to Germany with the lads metal detecting once, and I left it in the, uh, it was a cabin we were staying in. I left it, and then we went back a year later, and they actually had it hung on the end of the bed. They remembered it was the same people coming, so I managed to get my, my shirt back. And I've had it screwed up in a ball in the caravan for a year or 18 months. I finally pulled it back out, put it in the back of my car in a black bin liner, where it's been for the last four months. Pulled it out the other day and you ironed it, sorted it out, it. starting to wear it again. So I love that shirt. <laughs> Why a camper van and not a caravan? For, I know. I just cannot imagine trying to tow a car caravan down some of the country roads I've been down around Cornwall and Scotland. I just can't see. It would be so daunting. On top of that, if we did that, we'd need a new car because my car won't pull uh, mm -hmm. a caravan. So it's just not practical. Uh, why the six metre size limit on furries? I don't know. No. No, there is. There, oh, there is right. a six oh, sorry, metre size yeah. limit. There isn't a limit. You know, it just costs a lot more money. If it's six metres or under, it's classed as a car. If it's over six metres, it's classed as a camper van or mm. something and it costs a lot more money so I'd like to keep it under six meters but it's not essential we're live at the Miss Wild studio right now hi Sharon hi all Sharon's customers <laughs> they don't understand they all speak Can it, uh, French oh really they French all, yeah in, in certain parts of Canada they speak yeah. French oh okay uh, Sharon speaks French She's obviously very good at English, but she does speak yeah. French. And all her customers will be French, but they will understand well, English. Well, thank you for having us on your TV. <laughs> what is going to be your biggest problem? Well, that can go into Vivdig's question, because that's a big one. Yeah. Might be daft, but can you receive post if you live in a caravan? No. No. That's going to be a big problem. We'll just have to have it posted to as parents, me to my mums, you to your dads, and have I'm it just going to have to stop us. shopping on eBay now. <laughs> yeah, we'll be doing no eBay buying. <laughs> but it's like my 365 trip, the year trip I just did. I'd, when I stayed at a hotel or a hostel, 
I'd try to stay there for two or three days if I needed mail and get it delivered there. So yeah. There is ways around it. Ideally, we want a PO box, but then we would literally have to go back to it every yeah. three weeks, four weeks max, maximum. Are you going to sell your car? Well, that's a good question because uh, Isengard, because we were actually thinking of smashing it up. Yeah, for a video. <laughs> it's, it's not worth anything anymore. It's trashy. It's, it, it's, it's good because it's only got 70,000 miles on it. There's no wrong with it, but the value of it is probably about 400 quid. If we're lucky. I'd rather smash it up. We're not going to smash then, then If I it. smash that up, my mother would kill me because my mum got me it. She'll be fine. She'll, be, she'll enjoy watching the video. <laughs> there you go. They all speak English and French <coughs> at Sharon's place. For all you people at Sharon Wilde's tattoo place... Bonjour. ...having needles <laughs> stuck inside you for fun, there's something very, very <laughs> wrong with each and every one of you. It's my worst nightmare is to have a tattoo. I want one on my back, a really big Liverpool one, a phoenix, but uh, you'll never ever get me having something stuck in me. I love I'm scared. tattoos. I'm terrified of needles. I absolutely love tattoos. Uh, what was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, okay, sorry. Yeah, Quebec in Canada, that's mm. where they speak French. Anyway, moving on from the old French thing. Does Van have Wi-Fi? No. The only internet we're going to have to start with is we've got the dongle, which has 20 gigabytes. My phone has unlimited internet and 30 gigabytes of, uh, what do they call it? Mobile Adam. stream. No. Um... I can't remember the word. I, I'm not very clued up with internet. I can so. use my 30 gigabytes on other devices. That's what I'm trying to say. We've got enough because I've recently found out how to upload videos off my phone, which is unlimited internet. For years, excuse me, for years I've been uploading through these and, it, and spending a fortune. I don't have to now. So... Tim, We're not too bad. Tim Johnson asked, what is the time frame to buy your new home? There's no time frame, just when we're able to. We're just not able to. We're waiting on other circumstances to change. Um, we're 99% sure it's going to happen, but we just do not know when. Yeah. Um, that's all we can say. Well done, Kian, for donating that on Digging the Coast. Tethering, that's the one. Tethering. Thank you, Richard Spratt. <laughs> Spratt. Uh, no, well, it doesn't say that on here. It doesn't say tethering. But that's what that guy was talking about the other day at the NEC stall, tethering. Right. Yeah. But what I'm talking about, uh, mobile hotspot, that's what I was thinking of, which is tethering, I think. Um, <sighs> will we take along the drone? South Coast detecting hello. Yes, the drone is out. That's something else you didn't know about. Uh, we haven't got room for it, but we'll be taking the drone. We'll just have to not take the big case, just the drone. We're going to have to start mm. doing drone shots. Have to. <laughs> I'm right, look at my face. I'm panicking about spacing. He's, he's filling it up and filling this camper van up before we're even in it. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Bump out living quarters. Are these a bump out to make living quarters larger? Oh, do you mean like press a button and the sides come out or the back comes out? Some of them do. Um, oh, yeah, they're more money there as well. They're more they? money, and we saw a couple at the show and they're just not worth it. Just, yeah. Just, just all to what give happens. You a little Sorry, if it does come yeah. out at the back, it means you can't have storage around the back because it's going to pull out. And so you're losing the storage. And when it does pull out, all it means is you've got longer chairs. You don't really yeah. gain from that. Hello, hey. Julie. Hi, Julie. Don't know, South Coast detecting. Don't know. 
We'll certainly see you again. There was a question up there. Um, somebody saying about um, using free hot well, Wi-Fi. It's never yeah. really that good, is it? It's No, it's only good if you're in there. But the places where it's going to be a problem is where there is no internet. Yeah. It's you know it's just too remote to get internet. That's the only place it's going to be a problem. As I say, I I have unlimited internet on my phone, but as soon as you've not got a signal, you you're in trouble. I want to find out. I've heard of this MiFi and stuff. Mm. I want to find out if we can have our own internet in the van and not rely. Can you be in the wilderness in the north of Scotland where you don't get a signal on your phones? But still get the internet. I don't Somebody think Somebody let us know. Is there no matter how much is there a way of doing that? We don't know, do we? Uh, no. Um uh, uh, what is your favourite place in Yorkshire around Keighley, Dan, and will you visit there on the Travel Troll channel at any point? Favourite place around Yorkshire is probably France. Keith, France. it's a joke. Oh. There's, there's not much. There's not much there. It's very bleak. I quite like the Grassington area, Ilkley area. I love Haworth because that's where my mum's from, and there's a lot of history there with the Bronte sisters. Um, but yeah, you know, I've been brought up with it. It's, you're still going to have the, the people there, which is the problem, not the place. Somebody um, said, Bod budget, no signal, no internet, unless you use a satellite, which is very expensive. Yeah. But is that an option then? But is, is that it? an option? Is, is, that like, is that actually an option? Because yeah. we did see like Wi-Fi satellites where you, it just gives you another five kilometres. That ain't what we need. We need, that's no good for us. Yeah. You know, if if we can have a satellite and it definitely gets us internet all around yeah. the UK, we'll get it. We'll need it. Hi, Simon. Enjoy your beer. Say hi to Wendy. Julie asks, do you like, do you like the Peak District? I'd love to go there. I've never been there. Have you been there? Yeah, it's very nice. It's where... Can you remember when the guy who had the fastest thing on on a boat? Coniston. I think that's Peak District. No, that's Lake mm. District. <laughs> oh. Peak District... I was getting confused. So you're not, you're not totally yeah. done. Peak District, I have been there. I think there's a cave you can pay to go underneath. But only once as a kid. I haven't been around there, so I don't know. John Springer says satellite, um, no, not um, metal detecting faces. Yeah, anyone can subscribe to a satellite service. You just need to pay for it. Is that the internet? I don't know. Goodbye, Kian. Bye. Motorbike. Bye, Kian. Michelle, that ain't happening. We're not getting motorbikes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, Will, Will oh, Smith. Motorhome. No to home, she meant, sorry. Will Smith, uh, Keithley, Worth Valley Railway, yeah, it's rubbish. It's rubbish. God, I used to li I used to hear every single train. I used to go down train spotting when I was young. <laughs> yeah. I'm not... surprised you just told everyone that. I don't mind. It's not wrong with train <laughs> spotting. It's a good hobby. Or it was back then when you had proper engines, like the Class 47. Get a bit of, you know, Rail Riders Club. Class 47s were my favourite, but then you went on to move, you moved on to Class 85s and it got a bit silly with electric, and now I don't even know what they are. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. South Coast Detecting is asked, are you going new or pre-owned? We're not too sure yet, Just we, we're just not sure. We've had a look at both and... Both have their highs and lows. <laughs> I think the problem is, I really want the one we saw new. But it's only been out for four years, and even a second-hand four-year-old one is not much cheaper than a new one. So you may as well get new. Might so we might, we're thinking we might as well get yeah. new if we got that. Whereas with the other one we've seen, 
Yeah. There are, which is, if you get an old one, you can get like a five-year-old one, and it's a lot cheaper. But then I don't want to be buying someone else's trouble, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's a matter of just shopping it, around. We'll and see. yeah, and someone else's dirt as well. Yeah, we haven't decided, but they're both options. Okay, this has gone a lot better than the yeah. first one has. Hi, Dan from Ark Arkansas. 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 Where's that? Oh, bless you. It's in America. Oh wow! Hi, so far away. Arkansas. <laughs> I think it's the kind of place where you know hills have eyes. Yeah. I think it's where they're all freaky. I'm not sure. Oh, that'd like, be well I, I don't think it's far, far away. <laughs> don't buy used. Okay, Hillary. You send us the money and we'll get a new one, yeah? Danny Boy says, if you brought the fan tomorrow, where's the first place you'd like to go? I Island for me. Mm. I don't know, really. <laughs> Somewhere remote, so that I'm not too Hi, Danny remote. Bampin. Somewhere remote, but where the roads aren't too skinny, so that I could be not worry about too much traffic and not worry yeah. and just get used to it. So I don't know. Uh, well, there's a lot of Americans on here now. Yeah, I'm really surprised. A lot of Americans because and Texas, that's just amazing. Hi, hi, y'all from Texas. Hi, y'all. Oh, it's Debbie Cooper. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, we'll be going to Dev and Danny. Hi, Dan Rosie. Check out. See you later, California camping. Thanks Bye, California for joining camping. us. Thank you. And I will be watching all your videos. And as I'm going to check you lately. out as well. Hang on, we're well behind here. Oh, we? Wow. We are behind, right? <laughs> I need to try and scroll it down, but it's not... Florida sends their love. Thank you. Oh, what's that? What? I don't know. I'll find out. Who's going to empty... Who's going to empty the poo tank? What poo tank? Camper fans have poo tanks. We've not discussed this. What are you on about poo tanks? <laughs> poo tank? You, you... The toilet tank. Yeah, you go in the toilet and you flush it. And where do you think it goes? I would, but I'm on a camper van <laughs> somewhere. On the road. So I don't funny. care. Uh, I'm guessing on the road. Because mm. horses, they get away with it. I don't mm. know. Never thought about that, to be honest with you. How can we support you best? Just thumbs and up, sharing videos, and just keep watching us. That's how you can support us. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> uh, chemical toilets. What's everyone going on about? I don't know what a chemical toilet is. Gazette toilet is a posh name. Sure, it's... <clears throat> I think the difference between a camper van and a normal toilet is a camper van doesn't, you know, when you go to the toilet here, it goes yeah. like down a tube and round yeah. places. And In a camper van, it's it. I think it's just an hole. It's just an hole. It goes straight down to tarmac. I think. No, that's what aeroplanes have, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I don't, don't know. know. I'll have to look into that one. <laughs> mm. uh, we haven't been on that long, really. I was thinking we've been on ages this time, How but it's only been, been, on? it's only been oh, 15 yeah. minutes. Will you steer clear of Bradford on the travel trial, Dan? There's things to see in Bradford. I don't know where Bradford is, sorry, Will. It's that really rough place we drove through near Keepley. Oh, uh, where, where, yeah. Yeah. Um, where, 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 you, where I says, don't open your door. She were opening the door in Bradford in, in traffic. Uh, what is that? I have a big basket for you and Mazzy. A big basket of what? Sorry, go back up. <laughs> Simon. Oh, a big basket of what, Simon? <laughs> have you considered getting an old ambulance? No, Paul Carly. 
But I have seen people who have converted ambulances, and I we told you about that. We were talking about them yesterday, yeah. I'd like to get an old fire engine and convert that into a camper van. That would be cool. Julie camper just, engine. Um, Julie just said petrol is better. Why is that, Julie? I would have thought diesel, but... I would. Maybe diesel is slow and sluggish, I don't know. I've never heard anyone say petrol's better for a camper van before. Yeah, I don't know. There's a poo tank under the van. <laughs> Neil Cameron, stop being silly. <laughs> <laughs> what a wally. <laughs> I don't know. Convert a school bus. Yeah, we could be at this rate. I don't understand mm. why I've attracted the entire um, steam train community from the Keithley area where I was born in this live chat. <laughs> but I don't want to talk about trains from Keithley anymore. Thank you. Uh, Mike Bike says she travelled to Stonehenge. I loved Stonehenge. Been to Stonehenge on her own, been to yeah. Stonehenge on my own, but we will be going to Stonehenge. Just I advised because. you to go on your 365 and you didn't sort of appreciate it as I much went. as I Yeah, but you didn't appreciate it as much as I did. I enjoyed Stonehenge. It was rubbish. It was just big stones with like. They were all falling down and all sorts. It was rubbish. It was good. Honestly, I don't it. go to Stonehenge. It, honestly, it's rubbish. You can't even touch them. And then you're trying to take a picture and there's all these Chinese people in your way. Sorry. No, it's not for me. Not for me. Julie said it's because diesel is dirty. I agree. Dirty? Yeah. I'm not planning on touching it. What does Paul Johnson say? Don't forget an awning as it gives you spare room for all your guests and somewhere to sit out at night. Yeah, we've, we've considered that, Paul, We're in case he has to sleep in the tent. And whichever camper van we get, it's going to have the pull-out bit. Yeah. Um, but we are going to get a proper awning as well. Yeah. Where we're going to store that, I don't know. I have no idea. I've just got to go. Got to You've got toilet, to go? So, yeah, sorry. You're leaving me on my own? Yeah, I'll be two seconds. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do now. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Um, okay. Oh, dear. Um, bear with me. I'm looking for a question. It's no good Florida, Florida Scott or anybody else advising what they think you should have. Everyone's got their own different preferences. Excuse me. You know, the amount of comments on the NEC show videos of people saying... Oh, you want to get one of these? Oh, looking to get in one of them. It all depends on what you want. And for this, for what we want inside a camper van, we only found two. Um, three, sorry, but one of them was a ridiculous price. And that is no doors at the back and like seating which goes in a U shape at the back with a table in the middle, ideally. We only found th three. And one of them was too dear. And the other two are still looking at, so it all depends on what pe each individual person or family wants. Can I just ask if Angel's in chat and make a comment and we'll make you moderate? Uh... <laughs> if money was no object, which of the vans that you saw at the show would you get? It was... It's about the size though, really, wasn't it? I'd still I'll stick with the ones. One. I'd, I'd stick with the one I liked, the V line yeah. one. I, I, I like what we were looking at. Obviously, oh, there's Angel. Can you make her a moderator? Look? Where? There, look, above Florida Scott. Right, Angel. Can I just tell you something about your your auntie? <laughs> oh. I'm not happy with your auntie at the moment. Hang on, I'd moderate. Your auntie just says she really needs to go to the toilet. She didn't go to the toilet. She's been out for a cigarette because I can smell it on you. Don't you think I want a cigarette? Just leaving me to it while you go have a cigarette. Charming. Yes, I smoke, guys. Sorry. Yes, we I both do. smoke. Yeah. We both smoke. Uh, there's two... What? There's, there's two, two William Smiths in the comments. Wow. Oh, okay. Well done, Angel. You got your wrench, 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 wrench. Not wench. <laughs> what made you decide to trade in the house for a motorhome life? Um, I don't know how you know any of that information, but... 
Dan might like to answer that. How's life for the motorhome life? I've been travelling for years now. I'm used to not living in a house. And that's that was always my plan and that's what yeah, I'd have sold, done anyway. You sold your caravan before coming here, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I was always going to do that anyway because I think that's the best way to keep making good videos is by travelling. And if I'm travelling, there's no point keeping me down a van because I'm never there and it costs £3,000 a year to keep paying the uh, ground rent on it. So I was going to do it anyway. And then I've invited Mazzy along, and Mazzy said yes. She was very drunk, but she's not said no since. <laughs> so, so somebody just asked a question. Uh, if you can go back up, I don't know how you go back up. What? Mm, Hello, Bob. Nice Bob Earnshaw, honestly, this is going nipples up. It's really not going in a camper vanny type of way, as you <laughs> would hope. Um, because the thing is, I've got another big channel, Bob, and some of the other people on here who were interested in the NEC show, uh, I've got a, a much bigger channel. It's got, what, 270,000 subscribers, and most of the people on here are from that channel, which isn't a van life kind of channel. So most of the chat is going in a different direction. So. I will apologise, Bob, for if this doesn't interest you, but we're trying to keep it on a we're van trying. level. Yeah. <sighs> Did you find that one, no? No, no. no. We were quite behind, well done. so. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> lease. Do the lease camper vans? I don't know. Hello, interesting. Nice, nice to meet you too. I don't know if you can lease camper. I don't know how that works. It sounds expensive to hire, is the word, isn't it? Yeah, it I don't. I expensive. wouldn't like dead money. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being a new subscriber. Who was that? Arcuda. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Arcuda. <laughs> What's on life stays life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what Bob says. Bob. I think, yeah, it is the same Bob person. Earnshaw. Bob made four videos on at the NEC. Oh, wow. And they're like 30 minutes long each. Oh, wow. He, he went to far more effort than any of the rest of us YouTubers. I'll have to check him out. Um, everyone else, nobody else did more than two. And he did four 30-minute wow. long ones. And he did proper reviews with his wife going round. And it, it oh, really interesting. Lovely. So if you're interested in caravans and camper vans and stuff, what? Subscribe to Bob Earnshaw on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, right, where are we? Sorry about the pauses, guys. We're yeah. trying to come up with questions. <laughs> We're a bit here. slow. <laughs> Bob's knackered now. Oh, bless you. <laughs> right, here's one. Paul Johnson. Question to each of you. If you couldn't do without taking one special thing in the van, what would it be? My teddy <laughs> and Dan. My teddy, Dan, te teddy. <laughs> my phone. <laughs> uh, I couldn't go anywhere without my phone. This is my teddy. <laughs> I, oh, I live on it, don't I? Yeah. Everyone who knows me, honestly, if, if you ever sat down with me having a drink or we go out for a meal or anybody who's with me, You'll, he lives on his bike. You'll recognise me like that. You yeah. might not recognise me like that. <laughs> Quit, uh, all right, yeah. Have you showed Mazzy your tent? No, I haven't seen Dan's tent. <laughs> it's only a one man anyway. I tried to make... I, I actually went on a do with Shallow Shovel of Shame. I said, well, I've got a tent. We'll go in that. But when we tried to get two of us in the tent, it was impossible. And then <laughs> we had to sleep in the car in the end. I imagine it stinks now after the 365 anyway, does it? Why would it stink? Because you probably didn't pack it's it up It's got air vents. No, but you probably didn't pack it all up properly. You probably just shoved it in the back of your car knowing you. Couldn't tell you. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it'll smell. Uh, oh, don't give me that. Winston. Winston Viceroy. Dan, please be careful driving through McDonald's and do uh. not hit the height barrier. Now... This is a big thing, and I kicked off with one of the salesmen at the yeah, shop. Yeah, he actually did. 
it's 2.7 meters is a McDonald's uh, height barrier. Yes. Now, um, the second one we've looked at, which was the 120 Bailey's whatever. Bailey's. It's 2.73 meters tall. Eldis. Eldis, sorry. Yeah. It's that much too tall to go under a McDonald's height barrier. You were so gutted, weren't you? The <laughs> first thing I looked at when I was starting to look at camper vans was make sure it's under 2.7 yeah. metres tall. And Eldis have come up with a van which is really, really good. And it's that much too tall. Why didn't the designers think before they came out with this thing, <laughs> well, let's just make it 2.7 nine meters tall so you can get under at mcdonald's so yeah that um, is a big problem south coast detecting is asked once you're on the road will you be on the road 24 7 that'll be our home so yeah we'll be on the road 24 7 might not be making videos 24 7 oh, but yes, sir. we'll be we on might the... pull off the road yeah at <laughs> certain points <laughs> but yeah it's a it is a it is for That'll be... With no plans for anything else apart from do this full-time yeah. for the all future, as far as we can see. Yeah. Bring it down now, because we're probably quite behind. We probably are quite behind, but I don't want to miss if there's any good questions. Why are you scared of long vehicles? That's a good one, Triple B. I'm not so much scared of long vehicles. For the length, it's simply... You can't park it without it sticking out a long way in a Sainsbury's car park, for example. Yeah. That's my problem with the length. My problem with the width is the skinny, windy roads around the UK, such as Cornwall and the Highlands in Scotland. That's my two worries about length and width. It's not the actual vehicle. I'm, I don't have a problem with that. It's it's the roads. <clears throat> it's the roads and the parking. Excuse me, I'm full of gas. <laughs> Too much coke. <clears throat> Andrew Hodgkinson, you can still buy McDonald's by parking up in the car park. That's a good point, Andrew, but have you ever walked from from your car to the to McDonald's and back again? It's, it's you know, it's it, it 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 gets into double figures in yards. Mm. It's not an easy walk. I'd rather just, if you know, stay in my car and just go up to the window. Hammer and Talks asks, are there, are there any YouTubers you'd like to collab with? Where's that? Well, it's gone ah. now, but yeah. There. Um, well, at the moment, and this is one big reason I wanted to go to the show. Obviously, we wanted to go to the show to find the camper van best for us. But one reason I wanted to go is to... Uh, get into the community of the van life people, the people yeah. living in vans, the people making YouTube videos in vans. I want to become part of that, and I thought that might be a good way to do it. Now, we made two videos on this channel, and 150 new subscribers. And Thanks, guys. Thank you very yeah. much. And some of them are the kind of people who are making YouTube videos, and I wanted to interact yeah. with. I've subscribed to them and some of them have subscribed back. So yeah, I want to get back, I want to try and get into that community uh, and there's some big ones out there. The biggest is the Indie Projects um, and then you've got California Camping. Even the smaller channels we were watching some, they, were, they had some great videos today. They're, they're all small. No, no, Indie no. Projects is a big one. That's got 120,000 subs or something. All the rest are only about 15,000. No, no, no. That really like, small one today. They've only oh, had like 20, 20 subscribers. subscribers. But their videos are really good. I forget what they were called. So, yeah, we want to get into that community. Yeah. And I like the fact that this is a small channel. I don't want to go in as deep on the Deep Digger Dan channel with 270,000 subs and try and take over that whole community. I want to be seen as a small channel and build it up. And mm -hmm. people appreciate small channels. So, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying uh, interacting with people and I've been commenting on, on all the videos and yeah, it's going well, it's going well. So collabs, 
anybody who does the travelling van life, I'd, I'd love to meet up with them in the future. Uh, Bring it down, quick, because we probably will. We are. Around. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, sorry, guys. Bob. Only... Yeah, I noticed that Bob. He's only got 822 subs. Oh. Everyone subscribe to Bob Earnshaw. Let's see if we can get you a few more. <laughs> uh, I get... Would you mind buying a lizard and naming William? Please. If we're going to go down the silly route, we'll go again. Will you take the kebab cooker? No. no. <laughs> it was funny that because you said to your sister, didn't you? Oh, yeah. do you want that kebab cooker? Because we're not taking it with us. And she was thinking about it. Eh, she was in Minanari. And then she says, do you want it? To her brother. Because she was and he in says, yeah, I'll have it. for ten minutes. It's like, well, would you say yes or no? You can't <laughs> offer the same thing to two people in the same room at the same time. <laughs> and I still ain't got rid of it. No one wants it. It's, it's quite bulky. It's really good, though. <laughs> Some of these we've already answered earlier on, so I'm, I, I'm not answering them, but... Uh, uh, if I was single, I'd do the fan life thing, but most of the commercial fans can't pull a horse trailer. That's from Metfil. I think they could pull a horse trailer, they just couldn't pull a horse trailer with a horse in it. <laughs> I'd have thought a horse weighs more than the trailer because a horse can weigh a ton. I was thinking, why have you got to be single to do it? Just get get out and live your dream. Carry on with your dream. Or wake up and stop dreaming. Yeah, one or the other. It won't be safe to drive if you're not awake anyway. <laughs> wake up. <sighs> Any dream, Luke? No, we're not talking about metal Sorry, detecting I'd on this start, channel. I'd I start the conversation. <laughs> My wife won't go. Oh, bless. <laughs> Cal Davison, I don't want to look into sponsorship because I have such a bad... Um, I tried for the 365, which was for charity, raised... What was it? 60,000. 60,000. 50,000 50, pounds, 55,000 pounds for charity. Approached loads of companies for sponsorship and none of them were interested. I, I've just no... I, I don't like companies. <laughs> I just don't like companies. Mm. They clearly don't like me. I, I just want to do my own thing. I, no. Sponsorship isn't for me unless a company approaches me. I'm certainly not chasing anyone up. And I'm certainly not going to ruin my channel by turning it into let's advertise this product and get nothing back apart from one free product which I've I've seen a lot of people doing in the metal detecting trade uh, yes please will Simon asked would you add a frame to the back of your camper to drag a car well the simple fact that the answer to that would probably be no no it would just be huge and too long and Oh, metal detecting face. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Hello, Kay, by the way. <laughs> uh, right, anything else? They're lost. You're a natural entertainer, and I am a huge ad for the van life. Don't get it. I'm a, a natural entertainer, and I am. Is he trying to say I'm like Coronation Street? I don't know. I'm I not... don't understand. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we're going to have to call it a do. Yeah. The messages seem to, uh, the questions seem to have dried up a bit. It's gone a lot better as this one. I'll probably delete the first one and just keep this live stream on. It's not I want too the kebab bad. cooker. Maybe I'll auction it off or something. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there you go. That'll give you a chance to have it. I want one last Donna kebab before you. I know he's ain't stopped going on about me Donna kebabs. Have you? You've been wanting one every night. Mm. You love to share it with Julie though, because she keeps going on about it as well. <laughs> Good question. I don't know about the taxes on driving a larger vehicle, but something I found out this morning, which is a worry, 
Yeah. Um, your insurance for living in one doubles. Oh, okay. So that's something we're going to have to look into because we saw something the other day and it was a ridiculous amount yeah. of insurance and that's just to have one, let alone live in one. That's really sad, Kaya, and that's... Um, I don't know who deleted that. That was actually quite sad message, if I read it right. No, you read it completely wrong. Did one. I? And now I've just put that back on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm having to try and find this now to get rid of it again. Because there were a nasty comment. There you are. Will you need a water tank for the camper fan? Um, I'm assuming so, but... I don't know much about them sort of details. That'll be Dan's job. <laughs> it depends if cause we're not going to have much space on the camper van. If it's an option okay. between, if it's an option between getting a a water tank or a beer barrel, <laughs> then we'll we'll be going for the for a keg of John Smith's. Carlsberg. We, <laughs> we can we can get. Water anywhere, can't you? Yeah, it was free. Isn't Loads it? of places have water. Yeah. But you don't see John Smith <laughs> readily available in fields and stuff, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh well it's been a good stream. Should we call it a day? I think we better do. Yeah, we're gonna go and have our tea. Hey Maisie, look after Dan, he's a good un. Yeah, I know. I'm a good un too, he's gotta look after me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you all very yeah, much for joining. Yeah, thank you for all joining. I, I didn't really expect this to go properly down the NEC stroke camper van line because, as I say, 90% of the people viewing this, probably 95, uh, are, are from the Deep Digger Dan channel and they've followed us to the Travel to All channel and they're not interested in camper vans, they're just interested in our trip. Yeah. So... But thank you very oh, much to you, you guys who have joined, who are from the camper van Hi, side of things, like Bob Earnshaw, for example. Yeah. Uh, thank you, guys. And, and thanks for all the donations as well. Much appreciated. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you all soon. As I yeah. said, we're probably going to. I'll probably get a video up in about three days. Yeah. Of a sightseeing thing. Yeah. Metal detecting on the other channel, on the Deep Digger Dan channel. When if you're not web, subscribed to that. When the web improves. <laughs> um, maybe towards the end of the week, but we'll see. Yeah. And we're probably going to do a live stream every Sunday. That's what yeah, we're Yeah, we were talking about that. Maybe every Sunday. So, thank you very much, guys. Love, Love you all lots. Love y'all. Take care. Goodbye, all. Bye. I ain't off yet. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know how to get it off. <laughs>